Welcome to Cinemagna. In today's video, we will showcase the world premiere video of the 2022 spy thriller TV series titled Slow Horses. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel to be notified when new videos are released. Slow Horses is an upcoming spy thriller television series based on the novel of the same name by Mick Herron. The six-episode season is scheduled to premiere on Apple TV Plus on April 1, 2022. After a botched and publicly embarrassing training mission, British MI5 agent River Cartwright is exiled to Slough House, an administrative purgatory for service rejects. Known as Slow Horses, Cartwright and his fellow employees must endure dull, paper-pushing tasks and their miserable boss, Jackson Lamb, who expects them to quit out of boredom and frustration. Life in Slough House is defined by drudgery, until the slow horses become entangled in a dangerous gambit by Regent's Park. Written by William James Smith and directed by James Hawes, the series is starring Gary Oldman, Olivia Cook, Jonathan Price, Kristen Scott Thomas, and Jack Lowden. Without much further ado, please enjoy the Slow Horses world premiere video. Slow Horses, I, I, am, I play Jackson Lamb, and I run Slough House, um, and the, the Slow Horses are under my command, if, you can, if I could put it like that. Slow Horses are uh, agents from MI5 who have uh, effed up, and uh, rather, than, rather than being um, fired, um, they're civil servants. They get moved. Uh, they get moved down um, to purgatory, where where uh, where I preside. And it's um, Jackson Lamb's job to make sure that um, life for them there is so bone crushingly boring that they just give it up and move on and do something else. It's a bit, it's very much a question of tough love. I don't think I, I Gary would like Jackson Land very much, but I, I, the actor Gary uh, really enjoys playing him. There's no BS, there's no filter. Um, he is not clinically correct. Um, uh, if he ever, if he ever got a memo about progressive uh, or, or um, uh, feminism, he certainly didn't read it. He probably, threw, he, pr he probably burned it or threw it away. He's very sort of old-fashioned, old-school. Um, came up through the ranks, Berlin, behind the wall. Um, sort of no-nonsense guy um, and doesn't really uh, care what, what people think of it. It's been one of the happiest uh, jobs I've ever done. The actual do it, the making of it and the journey of it was really quite something special. The cast are, you couldn't want to spend time with a better bunch of people. The books are so good. The writing is so good. And I feel particularly, um, I'm a fan of TV. I watch everything. 
I love long form TV. And I've always been looking for something that, you know, it's got to tick all the boxes. Um, why do TV? You know, I earn a perfectly good living doing the other thing. Um, and this came in and it was just Rolls Royce. It was just so good. Um, and uh, so I feel very, I feel very fortunate to be a part of it. I play a agent called Sid Baker, and she's very brilliant, so you're not quite sure why she's there. And so not only does she live this double life, there's like a, there's, a, there's an, another duality on top of that as well. Oh, great. Really not, like, lovely, like, immediate, um, you know, chemistry and like a mutual love for each other. It's, yeah, it's been gorgeous. They're grubby, dirty, the antithesis of a James Bond. They are real, flawed human beings. And also it's, it's got that British wit and sarcasm as well that, I mean, I adore. We're at the Regent Street Cinema celebrating the, uh, the premiere of Slow Horses. I played Jack Loudon's grandfather, so I used to run, um, I was head of MI5 at one point, I'm now retired, and I advise him as to what he should be doing with his life in the job. I'll go and put the kettle on, you can tell me who I've killed. That's one of my best lines. I play Roddy Ho, who is obnoxious, a um, bit of a know-it-all, and the coolest guy in the room. It is set in MI5, a defunct unit of MI5, where they put pretty much all the spies that can't do their job properly and wait for them to leave the service. I think when I picked up the script initially, there were things about it that just jumped off the page that were so not an, a, a typical espionage spy thriller. It's funny, it's uh, dramatic, it's, it's everything that you could possibly want in one show. So you don't do a scenes with half the people, and half, you know, Chris and Scott Thomas, all these names that you've watched over the years and just loved, and part of the reason you got into it, especially like Gary, such a good character actor. And that's what I love doing. And um, so you, once you get over that, you relax. I'm someone like Rosalind as well. We had, because, you know, we've become, we, we, we have a nice chemistry on screen, hopefully, and we, we're good friends off it, and it was really fun, really fun. Slow Horses is a darkly funny espionage drama um, that kind of flies in the face of James Bond um, and um, essentially it takes a group of, 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 of misfits who've been cast out of MI5 into a substation of MI5 run by the notorious Jackson Lamb played by Gary Oldman uh, and uh, they then become accidentally almost embroiled in a proper MI5 anti-terrorism operation. Oh, it's different to spy genres because it's it kind of puts two fingers up at spy genres because it's it's full of you know dirty flatulent naughty humor it's very very english it's rain soaked it's drizzly it doesn't make spying seem glamorous which i think is probably much truer to reality his name is james spider webb uh three words uh, three words i'll give you as few as i can he's um He's, he's the Mr. Slick, uh, proper MI5, wants to be the top of MI5 and then go into politics, kind of wants to be James Bond um, and isn't. It's sort of amazing to be here tonight. I mean, the actors, we always saw all their faces because we didn't have to wear masks for the actors, but for the crew and everything, this is just the first experience to get together and really celebrate the show, actually, which we worked so hard making during a, you know, a sort of difficult time. I play River Cartwright, who is uh, a spy in MI5 who uh, makes a horrendous mistake like all the other slow horses and ends up at Slough House under the tutelage of Jackson Lamb, who Gary plays. Um, and that's what the series follows. It's a sort of work-based drama in the world of espionage, essentially. The genre grows out of Britishness. I think it's something we do very well, and it's something, it's a place that Britain still feels like it has a place in the world to play. Um, I think we've got that heritage. It's, uh, uh, you, you find Gary with an upturned collar, with a lit cigarette in the back alleys of, of seedy London. You know immediately what kind of genre you're, genre you're in. It's sexy, it smacks of the Cold War, or the back streets of Berlin. But it's come to town, it's on your doorstep. Oh, it's so exciting. We've done this for a year, you know. We've done this for a year, a year ago. 
and it's so important for everyone to see everything that we've all done, you know, and we worked hard on it, the writers are brilliant, the whole production team, the whole production of value, I'm excited for it finally to be put out into the ether, and you know, people go, okay, let me see, let me see. I play Catherine Standish, who's the PA to Gary's character, Jackson Lamb, and she is a very complicated and troubled person that can give as good as she gets, and it's full of surprises. It's very human, and it's very chaotic and messy, and it's like they've turned it up on its head. You know? And then we, we see people are allowed to get to know these characters, and we stay with them, and we learn a lot about them. It's very character-led, very about relationships, as well as being a really good story, a really good thriller. It's um, MI5 losers, effectively. So it's um, the best um, people in MI5 go to a certain place, and the losers, the people who've messed up and made mistakes in their life, go to the next place. And that's where we are, and we're called the slow horses. I got to work with Gary Oldman, he's my hero. So uh, I'm not really envious of any of the other characters. I've got a great character, and uh, I've got to do some scenes with Gary, so I'm in heaven. My favourite moment really is that, you know, they're, they're losers, but they're my losers, and the heart and the sentiment behind that. But anything he does really, <laughs> the fact that he's just, you know, he'll get a pile of work onto his desk and he's literally just shove it onto the floor and get on with what he's doing. I love the character. It's so exciting because when we started uh, developing this show, there were two books and now there's eight. So uh, Mick, Mick Heron's been extremely busy providing us with, with material, hopefully for many more series. But it's, it's, been a, it's, been, it's been wonderful to work on it and to get it this far. And I can't wait for people to see it. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and comment on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos are released.